Rain in the northern Flathead Valley leaves Whitefish Mountain Resort looking like a winter wonderland. Dax Van Fossen has the story. As you spent the day down in the valley in the rain, up here at Whitefish Mountain Resort, as you can see behind me, several inches of snow falling overnight. This is just at the base lodge. Up top, even more snow fell. Workers are working on the new Bad Rock lift today, trying to get that ready for its mid-December opening. In the meantime, the snow continues to fall here at Whitefish Mountain Resort. We're pretty excited. You know, that this is just a sign of what's to come, and it's getting us in the mood. Several inches fell over the last 24 hours in a storm that wasn't expected to hit the resort, so employees were pleasantly surprised. And then reality set in, time to shovel the sidewalks. Riley Columbus tells us this is a perfect time for that first layer of snow. We've had a little bit up top for the last couple of weeks, but nothing that's really stuck around here at the base, so we're excited to see the white stuff staying around down here. The resort doesn't open ski lifts until December 3rd, but Columbus says they're excited for the new Bad Rock chairlift. Uh, we're splicing cable today, and uh, we should have this thing up and ready to go this season. We're probably going to run it starting December 17th. The new lift expected to alleviate traffic at other lifts, but bring more traffic to the resort. Columbus, though, says the biggest winter attraction fell out of the sky today. Sometimes it takes a while for the white stuff to really start sticking at the base of, uh, of your mountain, but certainly that's where we work and where people can come up here and, and see it and experience it, and it gets everyone really excited about the season. At Whitefish Mountain Resort, I'm Dax Van Fossen for Montana's News Station.